guys, Andrew Marsh here with DrewFit.com. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in today. Today's video is gonna be about leaky gut syndrome. I'm gonna cover what leaky gut syndrome is, some of the causes of leaky gut syndrome, as well as signs, symptoms, and diseases that could potentially come about from leaky gut syndrome. Now, I want you guys, if you guys could like this video, share this video, and I encourage you guys to do your research on the topic because I think you'll be amazed with what you come up with. So let me jump right into it. What is leaky gut syndrome? Essentially, leaky gut syndrome is a damage to the tight junction cells within the intestinal wall. Now what I have over here is a healthy intestinal lining. And these are the food particles right up here that are getting absorbed through the villi of the intestines. And uh, when, that, when the villi is attached through these tight junction cells, which are these three things right here, it keeps everything out of the bloodstream and keeps you healthy. Now right over here, we have an unhealthy intestinal lining, and as you can see, the tight junction cells have been compromised, leaving the uh, food particles able to get into the bloodstream, which creates an immune response. Now, now what are some of the causes of leaky gut syndrome? Well, there's quite a few, but let me outline a couple of them for you. A few causes could be a poor diet, um, a diet rich in things like grains and processed sugars, high in gluten, or if you're eating crops sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup, or if you're taking a lot of prescription medications or antibiotics, this could potentially lead to leaky gut syndrome. Also, mental and physical stress play a big role in leaky gut syndrome. If you're at a job that's stressful or in an unhealthy relationship, this could also be a cause. Another thing could be internal and external toxins. If you're working a job where you're breathing in a lot of pollutants, this is another cause. As well as if you have amyglams or mercury fillings, I highly encourage you to get those removed and do a proper detoxification process. And other things like alcohol, fluoridated water, and maybe a parasitic infection can cause leaky gut syndrome as well. Now some of the symptoms of leaky gut syndrome, there's quite a few of them and uh, I'll outline a few of them for you as well. So I think there's three levels of symptoms, if you will. And the first ones are gonna be very acute things that you start to notice. Something like food allergies, digestive disturbances, like maybe constipation or diarrhea, or if you have irritability, depression, anxiety, or fatigue, these potentially could be caused by leaky gut syndrome. Other things that get a little more serious are hormonal imbalances and adrenal fatigue if you don't take care of the leaky gut syndrome when you have the first phase symptoms. And then after that, when it gets really bad, you begin to get autoimmune diseases potentially. And certain things like multiple sclerosis, uh, Hashimoto's disease, Alzheimer's, autism, diabetes could all potentially spawn from leaky gut syndrome. And what they have uh, found in recent research findings is that nearly all um, autoimmune conditions have leaky gut syndrome, which is very interesting. But the good news is that leaky gut syndrome can be eradicated and taken care of by following a correct protocol. Now I'm going to leave you guys with this. Hippocrates said all disease begins in the gut. And within the last five to ten years, the more research and findings that they're finding out about just overall digestive health, we are finding this to be 100% true, what Hippocrates has said. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, if you can like this video, share this video, that would be awesome. And join me on the next video where I'll outline a four-phase diet plan where we can help heal and see a leaky gut syndrome. So thank you guys for watching. This is Andrew Marsh with DrewFit.com. Thank you.